parked in an area. Let me turn down this. Um, got Heart Christmas on. It is a Vlogmas episode two. Welcome back, guys. Welcome back to my channel and to a new video i have just pulled up in a parking suspension but i have paid for a ticket and everyone else has parked here too so i'm hoping that that has ended oh, i thought there was a parking officer over there but no um i've just pulled up outside well, i can't get my eyes out 20 stories for a joe malone christmasy event for a new i think it's ginger biscuit scented product which is very exciting because it's festive it's Christmasy I'm sure it's going to be delicious and wholesome and yeah it is the season I am incredibly busy at the minute with work life everything I just feel like you know sometimes when you just feel like you've got a never-ending to-do list and I'm not gonna lie a lunch made me feel like oh, I could do without this but at the same time it's such a lovely lunch, such a lovely opportunity to work with an amazing brand, speak to loads of girls in the industry that I thought, no, I'm still going to go. I'm going to just use it instead of a, oh, there's so many other things I could be doing. And instead as, ah, oh, this is a chance to just chill out and step away from everything else that I need to do but anyway that's the plan this morning I do want to get back though straight after so I'm not going to hang around I'm going to go head in for the lunch then get back home because I want to start doing a little bit of wrapping I've got some friends coming over of which I'm going to give them their Christmas presents nice and early because we don't see each other that often I'm not sure if we'll get a chance to see each other again before Christmas so I'm going to start with wrapping those and I thought whilst I'm starting the wrapping I might as well um start doing some other bits as well so like tom's nieces we always get them like a sack full of presents each so just start wrapping them because they don't have to be super fancy just get the main bulk of it done and then um what else is on my agenda for today i think that's it i've got some worky bits that i need to film and emails i need to respond to but all of that stuff can we don't have to vlog about that do we um but yeah that is the agenda for today so let's head on for a nice lunch ladies who lunch i'm um, wearing my goalia i worked with them not too long ago if you remember a little kind of like wool knit cardigan um so that is what i'm wearing with just like a zara body underneath but i probably won't take it off um some h&m trousers and actually loafers so this outfit isn't very me i felt like a bit rushed putting it together but it was one of those things that i needed to head out the door i needed to head out quick so i didn't really have time to think about another outfit and now that I've got it on, I'm comfortable, I'm happy. But yeah, I wasn't sure if it was very me because I've never worn these loafers before that I've got from H&M and these like knitted cardigans, as nice as I like them on other people, very rarely have I actually worn them myself. So I always just feel like I look a bit different. But anyway, that's my little outfit of the day. Let's head on up now to lunch and then I will catch up with you guys probably when I get back home later. I can't believe how dark it is already. I was fully expecting to be able to get some filming done this afternoon after getting back from that lunch. But it's looking like it's only, what time is that? That's wrong, it's 10 to four. Oh, that is kind of a bit late to film. I thought I'd be back a little bit earlier than that. Anyway, I've come home to some parcels. I'll show you the bit that I, the bit, <laughs> the um, like bag that I got given at Jo Malone. Let's make a little temporary tripod here. I'm gonna take Barney on a nice walk actually because he's been here for a few hours by himself. I don't like to leave him. So he, I've just given him a nice big treat and I'm gonna take him for a nice walk. Nice countryside walk, get our wellies on and get out before it gets any darker. Uh, but yeah, I'll show you the bits that I got from Jo Malone. Very kind of them. Oh guys, look at the packaging. For gifting for Christmas, how nice would this be to receive it in that packaging? <gasps> so yeah, like gingerbread vibes, all of the in fact when we first got there, I probably got I don't even know if I got any clips, apologies if I didn't, but when we got there we got given ginger Can you hear Barney eating his tree? Some kind of gingery mocktail that was delicious. It felt quite sweet. And then we had a lovely dinner. 
Welcome to Gingerbread Land. Ginger and spice and all gifts nice. So ginger biscuit being the scent of the season. A deliciously irresistible scent spiced with ginger, nutmeg and cinnamon melting into caramel. It's quite sweet. Butter crumbly with roasted hazelnuts warmed by tonka bean and vanilla. It's those scents that I love. I love tonka bean and vanilla that they put in their fragrances. So this is like a mini version. And then they also gifted in the box, which they had scent combinations um on the table of the candles they do this scent in a candle and they had it combined with pomegranate noir so we've got a classic here pomegranate noir and ginger biscuit i'm going to just spritz the ginger biscuit again on myself oh it is it's unusual it, it's bizarre because it is kind of sweeter ginger like literally like you've been cooking gingerbread I feel like it would be really nice in the candle as a home fragrance. But then to wear it on yourself, that vanilla and tonka bean, oh, it's lovely. It's What I would say is that it's not overly, whoa, you can only wear that at winter. I would say that. Mind you, the spiciness, I don't know. Maybe I would wear it as just a, win a winter scent. But then paired with the pomegranate noir. Oh, that is just such a classic. Yeah, they do go really well together, actually. So, yeah, thank you so much to Jo Malone for having us. It was one of those events that I was thinking, oh, I've got so much to be doing at home. But I'm going to go ahead and go anyway, and I'm so glad I did. It's always nice to have a good catch-up with the girls in the industry, the brand girls, the new product launches. And, yeah, I don't take for granted this job. And sometimes when it gets particularly busy especially or any other time you know what i get with my like overwhelmed anxiety and stuff sometimes it can just feel a little bit overwhelming to go into these social situations when i'm not used to it i'm used to let's face it being at home alone most of the time with barney and that's my comfort zone just get me out in a countryside walk with my dog and i'm happy so to go into the city it's always i think it's because i'm out of practice with it i don't do it that often i feel like i would like to go in more often for not even necessarily for events just to like pop into primark or pop in to do some shopping because i tend to just go to like the trafford center or something um barney's like gone over to his dinner bowl now and he's eating his dinner <laughs> if you can hear that um but yeah i don't take for granted getting invited to these events it's so so lovely every each and every time i go to an event that i potentially might get a bit ooh, about before i get in there i meet such lovely girls and see familiar faces and just chat so we can just vent and just chat about how busy or hectic we are Sometimes we're really quiet and we're worried that we're too quiet. It just peaks and troughs in this industry. And yeah, it's when you don't work with colleagues, it's nice to be able to have these events. So thank you, Joe Malone, and to all of the brands that invite us to events. It's nice to just have to feel the connection a little more than we feel on WhatsApp or Instagram. So yeah. Anyway, I've ordered myself some, this is another parcel that's arrived, I might as well show you, some bits from Aztec Diamond because you may have seen from previous vlogs that I picked up Paul Striding again, not like loads, I've done two sessions so far and I would like to do, get another one booked in at least this side of Christmas, maybe one or two more and then maybe do it a bit more regularly in the new year. So I have got a new hat, chaps, boots. And I thought it was probably about time to not wear my Lululemon leggings on a horse, but instead invest in some proper horse gear. I don't really know, like any horsey girls out there, let me know any recommendations, but I found this one online, Aztec Diamond. Never shopped it before, um, so we'll see how we go. But I just got some of their riding leggings, which are, because I was a bit worried that jodhpurs either won't be high-waisted enough for me, or not very flattering or I'm not sure we'll see but these are specific riding leggings so I feel like I'm going to really get on with them in black and a medium and they feel quite I'd say they feel more of a sports legging than my Lulu so I feel like they feel better for working out and also I got the ones you don't have to get these ones but I got the ones with the grips on the knees you can have them without knee grips or the full like inner grip 
I don't know what they're called. So these are just for horse riding. And then to go with it, I've got a matching top. This is a core base layer in black in a medium. And it's just like a, I probably didn't need this, but I wanted a matching set. And at least one horse set that I can just reach for each time so I don't have to think. Um, I decided to get this. So yeah, I even did a little horsey reel on my Instagram last time I went and did a bit of an outfit. So maybe, yeah, maybe we could do some come riding with me Instagram reels if you guys want to see more content of me riding and what I wear and everything like that. So yeah, it's just a high neck, high rise, full zip base layer, essentially. It's nice, wrap up nice and warm. I've got like a little gilet that I sometimes wear over the top. I do have a couple of other parcels, but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to share them with you. So let me just whiz them open and see what's inside. I've ordered, oh yes. I ordered some bits off Amazon. So these are all, no, these aren't all Amazon parcels. I've got a Look Fantastic parcel, which I need to film today. I could film it tomorrow. I'll have time tomorrow morning to film that. Um, okay, I'll show you the bits here. It's not paid partnership with them on here, but I've got some gifting options, which I'm working with them in collaboration over on Instagram, but this is not an ad. But anyway, I will show you some Amazon bits I got as well. I saw this in... I think it was the background of a photo of Molly May's office. And I just thought, I'm gonna have to get that. 12 quizzes of Christmas, just a little decorative book, but actually one that I'm probably gonna really enjoy because it, it really does just have areas that you can jot down. There's got the answers in the back, some note sections, and then it's essentially a book with little puzzles and quizzes. If that's not me in a book, then I don't know what it is. A lot of people will be rolling your eyes at me for getting that, but it's just inbuilt in me. My brain is like a puzzler brain. I'm gonna have to remove you from my temporary tripod to be able to. Okay, Amazon parcel number two. Oh, I got this for Christmas actually, for when we're hosting. Um, good gift idea as well, I suppose. Oh, I'm quite out of frame there. But I saw this on TikTok and I thought I would pick it up because it's a bit of me. It's the alphabet game essentially in a circular thing whereby you choose a letter, a category, and you have to, not a letter, sorry, you choose a category, like brand names, pizza toppings, wild animals, round things, and you each take it in turns to press one of the letters, say the item, so say for instance it's brand names, you might do C, Chanel, and then you press the timer, so then it's on to the next person, and if it goes off, the alarm goes off, whatever, when it's on them, then they lose. Um, so essentially you have to name it, press it, pass it. Fun little easy concept, doesn't require much setting up or anything like that. Then I made another book purchase, and this is my entire childhood singing Britney Spears in my bedroom. Every single CD I owned. I didn't have, I don't think I had any tapes of hers. I remember having a bewitched tape, like cassette tape, but I pretty much was straight onto CDs and I had every single album of Britney. So I'm really, I thought, I am gonna have to, I'm gonna have to read this book, aren't I? And open my Look Fantastic parcel. I'll link these items below because I feel like, We're all good. You know, sometimes you catch yourself and you think, has that cut me or not? We're all good. Uh, what was I saying? I like sharing gift ideas at this time, so pretty much every vlog there's gonna be somewhere in there a gift idea. You'll probably see some what's wrapping some prezzies as well. I'm gonna not look like this when I'm wrapping my prezzies, so that time lapse, don't expect, expect. No makeup, can't be done. Um, okay, oh, how exciting. So Espoir Festival, they have a Christmas blend oil, which is gonna be perfect for our little oil diffuser over there in Winter Spice. And then also they have quite a selection of Christmassy products. And this range that they brought out this year, they've gone, they tend to do like a color scheme each year. I think one, yeah, maybe last year they did navy, but this green is gorgeous. So this is a soothing aromatic candle. And the fact that it, yeah, comes in this, lovely box so it comes in this kind of obviously the green box but then also within that is this kind of leathery box oops and then inside you've got sandal with lid in the suit well they've got all different scents but i picked up the soothing one oh, that is nice 
And then also within here, I've got the, a little mini. They do these minis, kind of like bauble style um, bits. <laughs> And they've got loads of stuff. They had like a Laura Mercier one, which I was tempted for. Two Faced Lip. I can't remember which ones I got. I think I just got this one. The Olaplex number three. Oh, they included a little free sample of the Murad Vitamin C Serum. And then this is like the big bad boy. They've got loads of different brush sets, but I treated myself to a brand new set. The Sculpt by Spectrum set. But they've got loads. This was like quite expensive, but they've got loads of different... Uh, like budget options smaller ones. They've got loads of real techniques on there. Poor Barney. I told him Go for a walk as soon as I got in and now look at me doing a whole haul um, Yeah, oh, this is gorgeous. So it comes in this little container all the brushes and then Beautiful What a lovely because I feel like makeup brushes are one of those gifts that you don't really want to spend on yourself, but it's kind of an essential. And also when you get a good brush given to you, wow, they're such a luxury. So this is, I'm going to keep them all wrapped up for now because I need to do the Instagram content for them. But this is all the different brushes that you get. And the aesthetics, we don't even need to explain them. Gorgeous. Yeah, that's everything. My phone just, just keeps going off. Someone's texting me. I'm going to get into my comfies after taking Barney for a walk, get wrapping this evening. And I'm not really sure where the rest of this vlog's going to go. I'm probably not going to finish it today because it's already getting on. So we'll continue it over a few days, a couple of days, a few days. Where is my phone? If you're interested, this is my full outfit of the day. Oops, I nearly walked into that. This Goelia little cardigan, Zara body, like I showed you earlier in the car. Then I've got my Lueva irreversible belt, still one of the best design purchases I've ever purchased because obviously... It's reversible. You've got the brown on that side, black on this side. And then these trousers are from H&M. I have these in like a light color, which I wear a lot in summer. And I've just recently picked up this dark kind of mushroom, mushroom kind of color, which I thought I would wear today with my H&M leather loafers. Just before I go and get into my comp phase, I've just tried on this Aztec diamond set and I'm really, really happy with it. It is quite snug on the arms, the medium for me. Um, it's fine, but that's probably just me being me, not liking tight things around my arms. But I think for the purpose of like horse riding and working out and stuff, it's perfect. And my hair's gone a bit crazy, a bit windswept. It's pitch black outside now. You can just see my reflection in the doors. Um, anyway, yeah, so really happy with the zipper top, but really happy with the leggings. I do like that it's a matching set and the gripper things on the knees hopefully are going to come in really handy. Another thing I just noticed trying on as well is on this side it's got a pocket for your phone which is going to be perfect for me because I always worry where to put my phone when I go horse riding because I like to have it on me and I also you know if ever I do a hack or something it's nice to be able to get a couple of clips if I can um so yeah, the pocket on the side actually has this kind of grip material on the inside so that your phone's not gonna come out. It goes quite far down. So yeah, pretty confident that that will keep my phone in. So yeah, really happy. It's also really high-waisted as well, which from the images, I couldn't really tell how high-waisted they are, but they are. So if you're a high-waisted girl that wants to try leggings, even workout leggings, maybe if you go for the ones without the grippers, so it's maybe just not all equestrian, but equestrian girlies Aztec diamond I'm really happy with this little set so yeah I'm gonna keep it I'm ready for chilling I've still got I'm a celeb to catch up on as well so that's um honestly a highlight <laughs> something that when I was driving home I was really looking forward to I was like I actually can't wait to be in my comfies cup of tea in hand and get I'm a celebrity on so that is exactly what I'm gonna do with this one cuddled up next to me hopefully when I get on the sofa he'll get right next to me but right now he's just cuddling his Ikea dog. His one true love is that Ikea dog. So I did do some wrapping um, whereby I'll include like an overlay on screen so you can kind of get an idea as to the sort of theme that I'm going with this year with the whites, the green ribbon. However, I am now just going to make a start on Tom's niece's gifts because they're the ones that I don't tend to do too much zhuzhing up. I just wrap them all individually. So I've got some paper down here. Let me just pan you down in fact I'll just come a bit closer so I've got a selection I'm going like more traditional 
um, with them, a bit more kid friendly. Got some brown paper here with the gold stars and the candy canes, which I love. Also got some red, some greens. These three are Morrison's, they're three for three pounds. These are one pound 50 a roll from B&M. And this, for this set, is six pounds, which you get really nice green holly which i'll probably use on their gifts as well this kind of tartan one and then these two like champagne and creams i could use for anyone really six pound for this set so i'm gonna make a start yeah on these two sacks basically we've got quite a few to get through girls if you're watching you know who you are don't watch the rest of this video because you will spoil the surprise of what you're getting for Christmas. So I've got two sacks here to wrap up. They're same but different. There's a few little differences between the two. We've got some YouTube on the go in the background. And without further ado, I feel like we're just gonna get wrapping. Let's go outside. The snow is falling down and every child is having so much fun. The snowman is twice the size as me with a smile as quirky as mine. We're holding hands to keep each other warm while we stand and watch a choir perform and all the Christmas songs that we love. Yeah, all the Christmas songs that we love. And in a while we're gonna go inside and drink our chocolate by the fire. Cause all I want is to spend this day with you. Let me give you a Christmas a moment we'll fill with love. outside let me show you the frost on the floor can we see how frosty it is so this morning we've got a very exciting appointment with so i think i've talked to you about it before but john lewis are doing this thing whereby they're doing get your kids to meet santa claus or because they're dog friendly john lewis bring your dogs in to meet santa claus and i think they get a photo a toy um not sure what else but we're gonna do a bit of a food shop whilst we're there because it's next to a sainsbury's and then go for a nice dog walk and then come back home and have a chill day i think so yeah i thought i'd bring you along this morning because how could i not to meet santa boys i wanted to put his christmas collar on but tom said <laughs> no i'm joking um and we've just realized for the photo if we're in it as well we match the dog <laughs> Should we go? Take some treats. I have no idea how he's gonna react because I always tell Tom this. There was a guy walking, he went on a dog walk when he was it was quite young, quite a young pup, but there was like an old man who obviously like had like hunched over like this and he was walking like this. And Barney went mental and he was just going, Whoa! So I'm hoping. Santa Claus isn't scary, he's nice. He brings you toys at Christmas. We'll see how this goes. Merry Christmas, baby. Reindeer's coming out to play. Santa Claus is packing the presents, making sure you have been behaving okay. We're outside, Barney's very excited, a bit too excited I think, but we've just made it, now they have said no photos or videos in there, so I'm not going to be able to get a video, but I will do um, the photo that they do and show you that, but yeah, it's just a little grotto, there's a few doggies here already, 
the other dogs are in Christmas jumpers. So, you know, set a Christmas collar. Although, to be fair, I do want to take his lead off so that he can have a photo with nothing on. Oh, he's just so exciting, Barney. He's so excited. Come. He's more focused on where Tom is. He's gone over there looking at Christmas decorations. Here's Daddy. Oh. You need to calm down, mister. They've said no jumping up or sitting on Santa's lap. Tom said you are the dog. You're funny when you want to be. Well, you are, but not on camera. Yet. It is sunny. That was a little chaotic to say the least. I'm not gonna lie. Oh my gosh, I don't know where to put you. It's that bright. That's a bit better. Anyway, I, um, yeah, that was a bit chaotic. A little bit stressful. It was, was it worth the money? I'd like to think so for the memories. However, there were quite a few dogs that are obviously getting through them. Your appointment must only be five minutes, if that, because we were in. He said hello to the elves in there and the Santa and had a quick photo, sat next to Santa. But we were hoping to get a picture as well. But then that was it. It was just the one photo of him, just one as well, which try and get a good photo of a dog in one take. It's incredibly hard. So like his eyes, you know when you get the red eye on the camera, are like all bright. So I thought, well, I'll get a digital copy because I can edit that out. And um, to get a digital copy, you had to get one of the packages, which start from 17.50, which is kind of pricey, isn't it? Considering the ticket to go see Santa pause was 20 pounds. So yeah, that's a lot of money. You do get a goodie bag. Um, yeah, and the fact that it was just like literally one quick snap and that's it. I'd have preferred a selection of digital photos for that price but for the package you had to get a bauble um like a plastic bauble a, a print out well I'll show you actually I'll show you what I got so yeah I went for the cheapest package of which you got a digital photo emailed to you so I've got that now but then you also get this print out card Merry Christmas with the photo. It is cute. But do you see what I mean by the red eye on Barney? Oh, look at him. The Santa didn't really do much. I'm not going to lie. He just sat there. So there was no, like Barney sort of sniffed, but he didn't stroke him or anything. And the bed that Barney sat on to sit next to him is for like a chihuahua. So small. Uh, but anyway, and then with that, I got a digital copy that and then a bauble which I didn't really like the baubles but I've got some photo frames I said instead of cutting it which she'd already done one I said instead of cutting it can you just give it to me like that and then what I might do is pop this in my own photo frame um to pop on the tree as like a little bauble decoration so yeah I've got these printouts as well but yeah I just think that's quite expensive for what it was I was more than happy to pay if the experience is a bit more you're in there for five, 10 minutes and get a few photos, like with you and the dog, with the dog, with like a different outfit on or something like that, so that you're in there for a good full five minutes or something, five, 10 minutes. I guess they wanna like speed things along and get dogs through, because obviously there were quite a few dogs there already, but I just think for that money, that's me being a bit of a Scrooge, or is it not? I don't know, do you guys agree with me? Do you think that's quite a lot? Um. But you know, for the memories, £20, and they get a £20 toy, so, they, well they said it's £20, but I don't think these toys from Cupid and Comet, I see them in TK Maxx for like a fiver, I don't think that's 20 quid. Um, but he, <laughs> all the bags were lined up with all the toys and everything in them, and Barney just head in, grabbed one, and I was like, well that's his bag. And then also like as the elf went down to like pick it up, the bobble on the hat, he then went for the bobble, the pom pom on the end and I thought oh god this is just chaotic it's chaotic maybe it's because he's not had his morning walk yet is that why Barney or are you just excited and then we got oh, okay so it's probably a bag worth 20 pounds not a toy worth 20 pounds because you've got these treats in festive dog treats Cupid and Comet oh look there's a little Barney on there turkey jerky made with real turkey so that is our little goodie bag and what we got up to 
What's that? A gift for you and your pup. Passionate about pets too. Oh, they do. Pet insurance. <laughs> a little ad for them to include within the bag. So yeah, it was it was fun. I'm glad I did it, but oh, it's kind of pricey for what it is. I'm not gonna lie. Um, would I do it again? Probably. <laughs> Oh dear, I was just annoyed that I couldn't video in there as well for you guys because that's kind of, I'm not going to lie, one of the main reasons why I booked. I thought oh, it'd be fun and cute vlog content for Vlogmas. Can't even vlog. Um, but I hope you got a few clips and insights as to <laughs> what we've just done. I think Tom's just insane so he's now getting some food for, for today and tomorrow. And then, because it's such a gorgeous day, I think we're going to do a nice walk, like they've done a Massey walk or something like that because it's so frosty and crisp. So that is our plan for in a second. As soon as Tom's done the food shop, then we'll go home and make some bacon sandwiches is what we're having for our breakfast this morning. Can't believe it when I was driving here because Tom is such a summer baby and I'm such a winter lover and autumn. Um, and that's one huge area that we differ. And even he said, if winter was like this every day, I think I'd prefer it to summer. And I was like, whoa. Because it is beautiful when it's frosty like this. It's just gorgeous. Um, but yeah, we're just feeling very grateful this morning for a lovely weather. Cute little morning. And that's our plan. I did have some white company dupes that I've been saving. And because I'm doing more Vlogmas style content this month, I thought um, I could mention them at some point towards the end of this video. Because those of you that like the white company dupes, we've got a few found a few recently so I thought I would maybe show you those um later on got some just more Christmas prep and organizing to do um I think we want to go and maybe day after tomorrow go and get the tree for the kitchen so we're getting a bit later than I thought but um at least then with it being a real tree it will last so yeah we might do that day after tomorrow so that'll probably be in the next next vlogmas episode which will be fun we can get our little Santa Paws photo for off on the fun tree in the kitchen. Oh, I'm really excited to decorate that tree. I don't know why. I think it's because it's the fun tree. The fun baubles. Um, but yeah, let's go for a nice, sunny, wholesome countryside walk. just made myself a lovely tea i got these from sainsbury's actually then the new winter warmer oh they smell good pucker teas i think it was orange star anise star anise what else is it ginger yeah it smells delicious mm, quite orangey actually um, yeah, just made myself a tea. I've just been sorting out some clothes, doing a bit of try on sorting out. Um, but I also wanted to show you the other 
uh, Sainsbury's bits that I picked up. I know I've done a Sainsbury's haul recently of some of their Christmas stuff, but they still had more sale, like Christmas home decor sale on, and I just, there were more pieces that I just couldn't resist. So um, I picked up these wreaths, which I'm hoping to put on the back doors, the crystal doors I'm thinking. They come with like a jute ribbon and this um, like woven bow. Oh, it's wired as well, so you can fluff it out a little bit, that's good. To go on both crystal doors, I'm thinking of popping these up when we get the real Christmas tree in the kitchen, which we're hoping to do tomorrow, fingers crossed if the weather is in our favor, because um, we do want to ideally go to like a Christmas tree farm. So if we get to do that, then I'm thinking of popping those wreaths up on that door. And then I also got this garland. Um, I think the wreaths were, I've not got my receipt on me, nine pounds, I wanna say, and this one was about the same, the garland, but it's just a thin, I really like the actual fur of it. It's the exact same as the wreaths, so it matches quite nicely. And I thought we could pop this kind of down the center of the table maybe, or on the mantel, or in front of the TV on the media wall in the kitchen. So loads of places I could put this, and fluff it out and just, yeah. I'm thinking down the center of the table, to be honest with you. Actually, when we're hosting and we've got the whole tablescape set up, to be able to pop that down the middle, pop some, oh, <laughs> pop some candles out. Um, and yeah, really, really loved that. They also had, if you remember last time I got the letter writing set, which I loved, and that was, I think, nine, eight pounds in the sale. They had these as well at the same, I think it was the same price, um, these recipe books. Now, I already have a recipe book, not too dissimilar to this from Zara Home, but it's not green. And I thought this one to get out at Christmas time, even if just for decor in the kitchen or on the pantry, sort of on a, cook, a, a cooking, <laughs> cooking book stand in the pantry, which like you can see from the kitchen, I just feel like this one's a little bit more festive with the dark green and the gold. So it's just a recipe book, but again, a good little gift idea for someone who loves their cooking. In here you get little page markers, page tabs there, and then the kind of layout is like so, if you wanted to have a little look at that. So I thought this was lovely. Name of recipe, how many it serves, the difficulty rating in your review, ingredients prep, you can even pop a photo on there. I did also come home to a PR package. I did pop it over there, let me go get it. I've not come across this brand before. They're a London-based brand and they do these fragrances of which they've included this, um, or sent me this fragrance discovery, yeah, discovery set. Oh, okay, this is good. So these are little cards with all the names of the scents that you get within the box and it kind of describes them. This one sounds a bit of me. This one's called Off Piste. Forests in a bottle. Fresh air, aromatic fur, and pine balsam offer a rush of evergreen. That sounds nice. And then it also says a little rating of how subtle they are or high impact, fleeting or long lasting, fresh or warm. So this one's quite a fresh scent, whereas a warm scent would be something like um, this one, which is called two halves and it's the perfect balancing act zingy timute pepper and fresh aromatics of lavender geranium tussle with an underlying honeyed and resinous warmth that sounds good too um and the actual discovery set again another little good gift idea this is what the actual discovery set itself looks like oh perfect so you've actually got the little cardboard sort of fragrance sticks that you can spritz them on and have a real good sniff of them to be able to decide which one like you like most. I'm just gonna spritz this off piece one, just to see, because I feel like I will love this. And then you can even rate it on the card. Love that. That reminds me. Oh, that takes me back to being in Finland. It reminds me of like snowy pine forest. Oh. That is just my happy place. And then I did mention that I had a couple of white company dupes and things that I found online that I thought I would just pop some images on screen for you guys who like that and in time for gifting as well. So this first little gift idea I thought would be perfect as a little stocking filler. If you've seen the 
white company car fresheners that they do. I've seen some on Amazon, very, very similar. I think they're roughly around about the seven pound mark for two versus the white company where it's 15 pounds each. Or a candle fragrance dupe that the white company do of midnight. I've seen the Aldi. We all know Aldi like to dupe the white company botanical candles. They've bought out a scent called Nightfall. So, very, very similar. I have the Fur Tree Potpourri on our dining table, but I know the range do very similar in their big bags in the same scent as well for much cheaper. So I thought I'd mention that if you wanted to do that kind of tablescape with the potpourri down the middle. Another Aldi find, they do these hanging, I actually popped a video of it on my Instagram on a reel, um, these hanging pomanders, which, which you can spray these ceramic hanging decorations, like the White Company ones. I did actually buy some trees. So I also bought that midnight candle dupe. b &M also do these little ceramic hanging decorations mini houses which are very similar to Neptune and the White Company style. I have them which I'm going to pop on our fun tree I think. I think or should I pop them on the main tree? I'm not sure but they were four pounds for four a pound each mega bargain versus Neptune which do I think they're 23 pounds for four and then one thing I'm yet to get my hands on but one that I definitely want to is from B&M they do these big black bows that you can pop on presents for gift wrapping which again very similar to the white company style where they do their black ribbons the velvet ribbon and um, so I'm gonna go and see if I can get my hands on that for some more gift wraps I'm like last minute gift wrapping but yeah that's a couple of little finds that I just wanted to mention some festive finds I'm loving this mug as well actually this again is another home sense find it's just got loads of different snowflakes on I've got the matching cake stand and server platter to this as well but yeah really really happy with this one and it's kind of like been my go-to festive mug especially for a tea where I can just fit loads of water in it and I honestly sometimes like this just keep the bag in and then when I'm running low just top it up with hot water again but yeah, I feel like, guys, that is going to go ahead and conclude this Vlogmas episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Thumbs up. If you have, stay tuned for my next one coming very, very soon. I hope you all have a lovely rest of your day. And I hope to see you all again in the next one. Bye, guys.